The Iron Dome system is sometimes described as the most effective um, air defense system in the world. And, um, but it's designed to defend against relatively small numbers of in incoming rockets and missiles. And um, so I think that this, uh, again, another large attack, um, probably from Iran, more sophisticated weapons are being fired against Israel than, than maybe from Hezbollah and uh, uh, about a year ago from Hamas. So I think this will really will have uh, challenged the Iron Dome system. Mm. Um, but the Israelis are not standing alone. Um, you know, the, some of the allies are helping in the defensive uh, actions as well. And so, um, you know, I think we'll find out in due course how, how successful the Israeli defensive system has been. Right. There's also the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 systems that Israel employs. What are they and how effective are they? Yes, yeah, like you said in your introduction, Israel has a sort of layered uh, defensive system. Um, the Iron Dome that people often talk about is really designed to, to defend against uh, short-range uh, missiles that could be fired from just across the border. So they had so Iron Dome has a very fast reaction time. Um, is very good at defending against relatively uh, small uh, rockets and missiles. Um, and then the Arrow system is designed for um, what are called ballistic missiles, but missiles that travel uh, further. Um, and then there's a, an even newer defensive system on the Israeli side, uh, David Sling, uh, which is designed to defend against more modern, uh, longer range ballistic missiles. So the way the system works is that a, that a radar will pick up some incoming threat and will determine the nature of that threat and then pass the information over to one of those systems uh, to send some kind of interceptor to, to, try and, mm. uh, to try and take out that incoming missile. Now, we're seeing pictures uh, now, Ian, and it's understood and we seem to have visual evidence that some of the Iranian missiles got through. Is that because of the sheer number that were fired? It could be, you know, certainly uh, a large part of the challenge is just the numbers, as we've been talking about. Um, you know, these systems from Iran are, are certainly more sophisticated than those that have been used probably by Hezbollah and Hamas. It's been reported today that Iran has used one of their hypersonic weapons for the first time. So a hypersonic weapon, hypersonic means it's going really, really fast. And uh, these, these missiles are particularly hard to defend against. Partly because of that speed, they also fly in, in a region of the atmosphere that radars aren't uh, designed to look at. They can also maneuver. Maneuver means that they can alter course um, along their trajectory, which makes them even more difficult to intercept. And so I think really what Israel is facing is a, is a large volume, uh, as well as some you know, very modern uh, weapons, the most modern weapons, mm. that Iron Dome was really not designed to defend against. So where do our defences go from here in what's being developed? What Israel and really the rest of the world has seen in the last year is that very large volumes of low-cost missiles can overwhelm the best defensive system in the world. And so it's known that Israel has been working on a different approach that uses high-energy lasers. Um, these systems uh, are sometimes described as having an infinite magazine, made, meaning that you never run out of bullets. It's not quite true, but it, as long as you have electrical power, a laser system can continually fire um, you know, beams of energy at these missiles. Um, Israel's been working on that. It's not operational today. Um, I, I think we'll see it in the next couple of years. Mm. You mentioned allies a short time ago. Ian, how involved was the U.S. military in helping Israel shoot down Iranian missiles? Yeah, there are um, uh, U.S. naval uh, forces out in the Mediterranean, uh, probably some ground uh, capabilities as well. And they have been helping, I think, with some of the more sophisticated, uh, longer-range uh, missiles that have been fired against Israel. And, um, and so I'm sure that has you know, helped protect Israel to some extent. Ian Boyd, thank you.